Hi, I'm Bob Cram, and today we're taking a look at The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. The 35 minute gameplay demo that was released, released and we're just going to talk through some of the features and things that we've noticed in the gameplay demo. You have to excuse us talking over the original narration, but um, hopefully you can get the point. Now, the first thing that I'm noticing about this demo, which I'm sure a lot of you will have picked up on, um, we're looking at the actual direct feed, not the YouTube video. Um, it's about a five gigabyte size video that we've downloaded from the official press site. Um, is the frame rate seems a bit uh, choppy to begin with. Now that's um, a bit worrying. Um, you've got these huge open environments, um, which are obviously going to take a lot of uh, resources. Um, and you would hope CD Projekt Red would have uh, made sure that their presentation would at least run um, relatively smoothly. But it's not running smoothly. Uh, at first, I thought it was the YouTube video. Um, but then obviously, uh, looking at the direct feed footage, um, that frame rate, as, we, as we're sort of going through this um, town here and in the, the wide open areas, um, isn't as... Uh, smooth as it could be so hopefully um, CD Projekt Red will sort that out for the final game but as I said it's a bit interesting that they haven't optimized this for the demo um, seeing as this is a showcase for their game uh, you'd hope that they would have got it running smoothly so you know you see Geralt riding on this horse here going through a, a town you're seeing quite a lot of details, a lot of NPC characters. Uh, I'm not sure how much interaction you'll have with those characters. Uh, I mean, for example, uh, the, the demonstration is just merely heading to a quest location, but you could obviously get off the horse at any point and perhaps um, mingle with the locals. Um, it should be interesting. If this presentation were about discovering so you're seeing quite a detailed um, city here. It's looking very good, looking impressive with uh, some decent shadow effects. But again, that sort of choppy frame rate is evident as you sort of move at pace. A little kick there from the horse. I'm not sure what that's about. <laughs> And Geralt strolls into the local bar of debauchery and... So we get a different contrast now. The frame rate obviously improves. We're in an interior location. Um, and now we get a first look at the um, improved character models. Uh, they were already very good in The, uh, the Witcher 2. But now Geralt... There's a lot more detail on his face. Uh, general NPCs, they're far more detailed than before. And, um, what have you learned? Yeah, it's looking mightily impressive. scar on her cheek. She's presumably in Velen. Was seen there in the company of a creature that goes by the name of Johnny. Don't laugh, but to believe the witnesses... It's a shame they, um, kept the subtitles in for the demo, but, um... burrow in the woods. Probably a bucker or a loot. I guess that's for people that want to Bellin. keep the volume down. Damn it. Geralt, is she who I think she is? Thanks, Dijkstra. That was coin well spent. So you're seeing um, Geralt's hair there, for example. Damn, you know, anim fully animated hair. Okay, that's not a, a new thing. But that just adds to um, the realistic nature of the character. Now, as you've come out from the light to the dark, you just see that beautiful contrast. Um, from that dingy interior location and now to this sort of outdoor location and again look at the shadows from the buildings creating that contrast of light and dark so we've ditched the horse and now Jolt is just running at pace showing off a lot of variety in the terrain and again uh, a bit more uh, of the NPC characters and again, now look at this wide open sort of expanse, those beautiful vistas. 
showing off a really kind of open world game Everything you see that's looking uh, absolutely fantastic. Point of interest can be explored in yeah, you do have to stop and just admire the view no here. To limit your adventure. It's hard to tell here. You can see sort of birds in the distance flying, but I'm not sure whether those clouds are um, static, a static skybox, or if they're um, animated or not. Fast travel is available to locations you've already unlocked by visiting them, and luckily a spot close to where we want to get has already been made available to us by our preceding adventures. So a massive world map which you're able to fast travel, which is quite useful. Um, it would be interesting if a game did decide to not allow for fast travel. Um, it would definitely increase the hours. Right, so we've now gone to a completely new environment, the swamps. And again, you've got a different sort of level of uh, contrast of light and dark as a, the time of day is slightly different, I believe. It's a bit more cloud cover. But you've got that beautiful reflections of the water and a lot more dense foliage for Geralt to walk through. Absolutely gorgeous looking. You've got those long shadows from the um, low sunlight. Pretty cosy shelter. With its light sort of shimmering through the treetops. That lovely mist Seems like effect. Have stumbled upon a peculiar hole in the beautiful ground, atmosphere of a hideout. dark and Let's damp the door. swamp. Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a now we meet one of the um, interesting looking characters. A godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? And she, one thing I did sort of notice from watching the, the video is um, what was she doing? It's important. Huge number of quests. You know, everyone, no one's doing anything for free here. And Geralt has to sort of quest his way through the game just to make progress. Lost your voice. Um, the recent Risen 3 uh, had an abundance of uh, quests, um, which some people like, some people don't. But uh, hopefully The Witcher 3 will strike a balance between um, the number of quests you. and sort of keeping the story flowing. No choice, I guess. So we go on this uh, little excursion through the swamps, showing um, one of the uh, quest mechanics of uh, following an NPC character. I'm sure that will be used several times in the game. Ah, wildlife! And our first bit of combat. Now, the Witcher combat has been pretty um, difficult in the past, quite unforgiving. So it'll be interesting to know. Now that effect there, that's what I need to comment on. That is an absolutely wonderful um, effect. Where you see the water rippling um, as he casts that spell. Absolutely incredible. And there it is again. I mean, that's an absolutely fantastic effect, which I have never seen before uh, in a video game. Uh, they've done a wonderful job of uh, creating that kind of pr pressure against the water and the, the ripple effects. Um, I'm highly impressed with that to the point where I think I'm probably going to make a separate showcase video of that effect because it's just so incredible. So you notice the, the graphics, the graphic nature of the combat, um, slicing enemies in half and it's a bit more um, horrific than previously. Something's on the ledge. Something that'll get you your voice back. I guess I gotta make this climb. Johnny apparently wants so if you just look at the difference in trees, you know, you've got that silver birch tree. Um, 
the evergreen trees, the pines. So they've really done a great job of recreating this woodland, swampy area. And now we're sort of climbing up a more rocky um, slope, escarpment, whatever you want to call it. We're seeing, you know, there are lots of birds flying around, lots of um, non-interactive uh, it comes with fully customizable elements, images. although these Don't probably forget. are harpies. Let's go. Need to be taken care of. So again, now look at the way the light has now come into the fore from that darkness of the trees and um, creating the shadows. And now you've got this bright light from the, the sun with it's now being um, free to shine on the uh, foliage. Right work of these uh, harpies. Nice. And look at that. So as I said before, look at the amount of birds in the sky. Just giving it a bit of flavour, just to add a bit of um, realism. And again, now another fantastic vista shot. It's absolutely incredible. That fog effect really does. Uh, exemplify the sort of moisture in the valley there so let's get back and then if we Johnny pan the camera the around because it looks pretty cool you can just see how that's um the lighting is uh, reflecting off the foliage on the ground the grass and off the um, surface of the rocks as we move back down into the shaded area of the woodland Again, a beautiful example of different contrasts of light and darkness. Yeah. Whiskey! Slither! Ringworm! Rubbish! Bumblebee! Flabbergasted! <laughs> I think what you've probably noticed as well is Celebrating. looking at the character models, the My facial expression so far. They haven't been over-exaggerated. Uh, I mean, this is a, an unusual looking character, but his actual, when he's talking, and same with when Geralt was talking and the guy in the inn earlier, th there's no sort of exaggeration in the uh, facial expression. They've kept it very kind of realistic looking, which is, which is good. I mean, often in video games, there's a slight over-exaggeration just to get the point across, but um, definitely keeping it on a... Realistic slant here, which is which is a good thing, I think. I went to empty my bowels. My favourite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise. Downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared. Out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired. Just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my mom. Sadly, I'd lost my voice. So and there you're getting a really good close-up of the um, Geralt's armour, the texture detail. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. And again, if you look in the background, you can see that running water. Just adding, you know, the small effects adding, sort of culminating together just to create uh, an overall ambience, which is uh, fantastic. I mean, again, we're seeing the light reflecting off the water here and um, the contrast between the shadows and illuminated areas. And if you look at the Geralt character model, again, you can see those shadows uh, moving across his body as he walks is pretty cool. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That oh, you're getting quite a few cutscenes in this moment. You, you walked for a few steps and now another cutscene. But again, you know, you're seeing this, now this element of air, which is a, a big feature of uh, next-gen gaming. We've seen it in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Um, and more games now are using 
the the air element in there just to highlight that um things aren't static as you would as you'd expect in real life you're not allowed to blades of grass flowing in the wind in the breeze um, just just adding a bit more life to the scene the woman I asked about earlier forgive me grand but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies no she's not allowed please it's important the fellow will be quiet grand please hear me out I found little Yagna when she got lost did I not did I break Jenny's fever too I did I ask anything in return no didn't even fuss about my stolen voice well now I want something grand again if you just fella. saw there in the background those I trees were the branches of the trees were swaying in the in the breeze his lass is missing perhaps the ladies can help find her eh well and um, obviously the character's hair Jenny. is moving as I well to reflect Come that and you can see the sort of shadows also dancing on the tiles of the roof so another interior location Johnny's a good good lad though the ladies don't like him no foul creature they say don't like him who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all, beseech I thee, answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen-haired girls. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blood. And again, this kind of scene well, also for the best. exemplifies the um, high-quality voice bollocks? acting. Do you fear woodland beasts? And the in-depth kind of story aspects, um, which just draw you in, basically. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen-haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The See older man of Dawn Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. Chain mail. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. So he certainly Ooh, looks the part, woman. doesn't he? Give the young man the dagger. And you As you'd expect. One. Return only once you've completed the task. Oh, your mistress, right on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger for you. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear. Have spoken. We better so resuming control again. Speak to the there about this task that's now heading out. You see that crow just fly in front of the uh, camera there. You know, lots of little touches to um, add a bit more life to the the open world. 
and uh, some more NPCs. If you pay attention to the environment, you might often stumble upon useful elements to be used to aid you in combat. Those gas clouds can be ignited using the Igni sign. And back through the swamps. Inside the blast radius. But I'm pretty sure A lovely green kind of mist. Fungal mist rising up from the murky waters. And then you're seeing that kind of, um, those reeds. Different kinds of foliage. Here we go into combat once again. Off with his head, that was an instant decapitation. You see he's doing quite a lot of damage here to each of these enemies. Um, three or four hits and they're dead. That pool of blood is excellent. Just resting on the water there. So guys with shields, this is a big part of the combat in The Witcher 2. So you have to change your tactics. Nice little kick there. And look at the blood on the water. It just sort of rests on the water. And slowly sort of dissipates. There you've got the remaining bodies. You have probably noticed the plethora of magic spells we used. They're called signs, and they can come very handy during combat. Let's see what we have at our disposal. And again, you're kind of seeing that sort of slightly choppy frame rate as he pans the camera around. Um, which is a interesting hit shield. Igni is a fire spray sign. Axie can charm them to fight along your side or stun them, and Ard is a powerful air blast. But it just shows that um, CG, CD Projekt Red are obviously really pushing the hardware, the levels of detail they've got here, and the openness of the environments. We seem to be getting close to Downwarren. So how that will translate to a PS4 and Xbox One um, will be interesting. I would assume this particular demo is running on the, the PC version. Let's look for the Elderman. Nice village. Boy, a real pearl of the swamps. So introduced to another character. So. Recognize this dagger? My master. I didn't know you belonged to them. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hillock they lie. Unburied, all oh, fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. I'll look around the whispering hillock. Be careful, Master Witcher. Again, look at those trees swaying in the background. Evil light. The Elderman needs our help. At the obviously, you've got that depth of field effect. Help us with our task at hand. There's evil afoot, so let's make haste. These parts of the so more running. Part, more crows flapping away. It's not a Those lovely dark skies. Ah, more wildlife. Ah. 
Look at the ripples on the water as well. It's not just a, a set ripple, it changes depending on the movement. And again there's that beautiful effect. The thing we killed is called a water hag. Nasty thing, dwells in wet places. Does not like fire at all. All right, we seem to be getting closer to the whispering hillock. We should probably use. And now we're sort of moving into a slightly darker woodland area. Claw marks. Wolves. I should look around. See those detailed leaves and branches sort of obscuring the view slightly there. This is the Just look at that shadow on the ground there, that's fantastic. This is where you equip all the armors, weapons, and useful items you acquire throughout your adventures. This is the character screen. Most importantly, we'll set the best weapons for each of Geralt's two signature swords. A steel sword, most effective against human opponents, and a silver sword, a lethal tool against monsters and beasts. The powers that protect me, they sense... The real kind of contrast in environments here. We've had the interior of the inn, the um, sort of city, um, we've had the horse riding through the countryside in the lowlands. We've had this swamp area now. We're sort of. We've had the, the mountainous area now. We're right sort of track. going through this forest. The, the trees are completely different to the um, birch, silver birches, and evergreen trees we saw earlier. Now, more of that combat. Just look at the way the lighting and the fires illuminating the grass. Spell it was in the, the Witcher 2, I believe. But, um, definitely well improved here. And again, if you just look beyond the sort of trees, look at the darkness of those clouds. The area, and let's check out this cave posing dark clouds in the sky, just adding to the overall atmosphere. And you, you can just see the, the light shining through that tree there. Absolutely wonderful looking game. We now enter the darkness of this cave. And again, just showing off those effects. We mentioned that there are many ways to explore the world of the Witcher. And we go underwater. We seem to have stumbled upon a hidden path. So they've said, you know, in the previous um, showcase trailer that you can go anywhere, do anything, swim, ride, walk, run. Um, so they're not wrong there. Got a, lots of choice, lots of um, diversity in the environment, and it's showcased it all here. And again, we've got that sort of shimmering effect from the chainmail on Geralt's armor, looking rather good. As we meet this kind of um, unusual character. You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here in fetters of magic. I wandered endlessly. 
I love them of thieves. The children, I know all. I know what to win with them. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I can't be a girl. So there's some really good designs here for the characters and the enemies. I mean, some are slightly generic, the wolves, um, but wolves are wolves. But they have gone to town with some of the uh, other characters, which I, I assume will be um, throughout the entire game, mixing up um, familiar looking enemies with uh, more interesting ones. The beautiful spark effects there as well, just absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be um, Nvidia exclusive, which um, seems to be quite prominent. But um, yeah, definitely uh, big on the effects. And this sort of creature was quite easy to take down in the demo. Uh, I'm not sure whether they've got the difficulty on easy just for the sake of the demo, but after the big kind of build up with that sort of creature, taken out quite easily. Solved your problem. Just in case though, avoid the whispering hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, oh, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. Look away now. There is payment. Take it to the ladies, will okay, you? Okay, lend me Why your ear. Off your ear. Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. So back at the uh, witch's lair, placing that ear. Here come the three witches. Again, you've just got some excellent looking designs here for these characters. He's even lovelier in real life. Mm. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, and look at the shadows on the characters, it's absolutely incredible. All of the characters there had the sort of individual shadows of the trees animating across the, their bodies. You want to bring it, not ogle it. And just really adding to the atmosphere for each scene, and it's all happening in real time as well, which is just fantastic. Okay, it's not new, it's, it happens in a lot of games, but in, in this game in particular, during those cinematic moments, it's just really adds to the flavor of each scene Our deal. and if you just put all of those effects together the air movement um, the foliage the shadows the lighting it just creates a really wonderful looking um, scene Thin as a rail, terrified exhausted she could barely stand as you have noticed there's slight animations on the um, clothing as well which is good wasted effects 
If you look at her head, her scarf around her head, you can see that that animates. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. And so we're sort of getting to the close now of the demo. He's just sort of setting the, the scene. The character that Jolt is uh, seeking. So to conclude, um, really impressed with the uh, 35 minute gameplay demo, I'm sure a lot of people were. There's lots of things to sort of take note in the demo. Um, CD Projekt Red have really done a, a great great job of showcasing their game so far. Um, the only niggles are those frame rates, but I'll assume that they'll get those fixed for the final game. There's still plenty of time left for that. And um, yeah, it's uh, looking like a great finale to the um, series.